This video is going to show you how to adjust the DPI on the Zenfone 2. Later on the video, I will address some bugs that I'm having with CM12.1. This video will work on CyanogenMod and the stock ASUS ROM. So you could do this on your stock ROM. So as you can see, by adjusting the DPI, you get a lot more screen real estate, especially in the settings menu. You do not need to be rooted. This will change everything system-wide, so every application will change. First thing we'll have to do is enable ADB. You can do that by going to About Phone and tapping on the build number 7 times. Then click the link in the description to download the driver. After you open up the driver installer, press Y on everything. This will install the ADB and the Fastboot driver. So hit Y on every single one. After it's done, open up command prompt by just typing in CMD and then type in ADB devices. This should show you a device and it should say daemon started successfully. After that, type in ADB shell WM density 360. You have to hit OK if you haven't already allowed USB debugging on your device. So you have to type it in again if you haven't done so already. Now you should see that the density should change instantaneously. Now as you can see you get much more screen real estate. You're actually able to utilize the 5.5 inch display. If you want it back to how it was before, simply type in ADB shell WM density reset. This should set it back to how it was before. Now as you can see everything is bigger. If you already have CyanogenMod, you don't have to do any of this. Just go to Display and Light, select LCD Density, and you should be able to pick the density that you want. Now I'm going to address some of the bugs that I have been facing on CyanogenMod 12.1. The build date is 8-3-2015. So one of the problems, it's actually listed on the XDS site, is when you uh, put your device in landscape mode, uh, you get simply black screen. You are not able to browse uh, Google Chrome on landscape right now as of build 8.3.2015. Another problem that I have encountered is with Google Play Music using the streaming service. For some reason, sometimes when I select play, it doesn't play. It simply plays the track, but none of the audio is coming from the headphone or the speaker. I'm not sure if this is a problem with CyanogenMod or Gaps or Google Play Music. I did have some issues even before I installed CyanogenMod with Google Play Music. So it could be a problem with Google Play Music. Another thing that people have commented on my videos is whether the battery life has improved. The truth is, uh, the battery life actually got worse. Before, I used to be able to get around 6 hours of screen on time by watching YouTube videos. Now, I'm not really able to do that. I get around 5 to 4.5 hours of screen on time. One more thing that I have noticed, I'm not sure if it, this is with CyanogenMod or it did happen with the normal stock ROM, but the device feels warmer than usual. Right now, the ambient temperature is around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so it could be the ambient temperature, but it still feels kind of warm. So as you can see with CPU-Z, the temperature is saying that it's in the upper 40s. I'm not sure if that's normal. On my last video, someone commented whether multitasking is better with CyanogenMod since it's running Android 5.1.1 versus 5.0. Uh, the truth is, even on ASUS ROM, I felt that ASUS probably fixed the uh, memory leakage problem because I did not really encounter any problem uh, within the last couple of days with ASUS ROM. Uh, but just to show how multitasking on CyanogenMod is, as you can see, I have multiple apps open. I don't have any games currently, but as you can see, it doesn't have any issues multitasking between five or so apps open. I never had any problem with multitasking so far. Right now, I would consider CyanogenMod daily driver worthy. You can use it from day to day making phone calls. Uh, the camera app does have some problem, but from what I read on, on the XDA forum, uh, if you download the Google camera from the Google Play Store, you should not have any problem. 
So I will have weekly updates on how Cyanogen mod is doing, uh, whether the bugs have been resolved. So please subscribe for more videos like this one. That's all. Thanks for watching.